Hello again, my name is Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the HIS X700 ISQ 128MB G DDR3 AGP video card. Included in this package is a user's manual, an installation CD and software, an expansion slot cover, an S-video cable, a mini DIN to RCA cable, an HD TV output cable, this end goes plugged into the video card and these ends go plugged directly into the HD TV. Also included is a DVI to VGA adapter and the video card. This AGP video card is based on the ATI RV410 chip. The cooler on this card is quite large and is comprised of a plastic top with a blower style fan. Now this fan pulls in cool air and forces it across the heat sink, then ports all the warm air outside the case. It's an excellent design that works very well and is used on most HIS video card products. Now the fan is also temperature controlled, which means it automatically adjusts the fan speed based on the video processing unit temperature to achieve the best cooling possible. Now let's have a closer look at the heatsink. It's all aluminum with many fins. You can probably see it better from this angle. And it comes in direct contact with the core. Also notice that the memory has RAM sinks. Here's the power cable connection, VGA, DVI, and video output connector. The default core speed on this product is 400 megahertz and the 128 megabytes of GDDR3 memory is 700 megahertz. Now it comes with eight pixel pipelines, six vertex engines, the fill rate is 3.2 gigatexels per second and the memory bandwidth is 11.2 gigabytes per second. This video card is packaged with the latest technologies. Too many to mention in this video, but let me cover the main ones. Smart Shader HD, Smooth Vision HD, 3DC, Hyper Z HD, Video Shader HD, and supports DirectX 9 and OpenGL. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this video card has two video connections, VGA and a DVI. Well, it also supports dual display, and this means using two displays rather than one will immensely increase workspace. One important thing to remember is that this card is AGP, not PCI Express. Most new motherboards on the market need to have a PCI Express video card because they have a PCI Express slot, not an AGP slot. If you have an older motherboard and you want to upgrade your video card to something a little faster, then this is definitely an option for you. Now remember, this particular card is not the highest end product on the market. And it's not the lowest end product on the market either. It's middle of the road. Performance does show that, and also price. It's very affordable. But overall, this is a great product. Again, my name is Rodney Reynolds. This has been another video review. Be sure to check back very soon. I will have a brand new one for you then. Also, pop into my website at www.3dgameman.com. And while you're there, you can go into the forums and register. And remember, registration is completely free. Also, keep in mind, you can find out a lot more on this product in the forums. And as a final note, if you love watching my video reviews, 
please remember to help support 3dgameman.com. If you wish to support, please visit support3gm.com. Until next time, take care.